Imagine your new neighbors have invited you to dinner. Rich aromas fill the air and wine and conversation are flowing freely. They'll never forget to read the fine print again. <laughs> Delicious, Bob. Thank you. I've never tasted anything like it. Tell us, how do you make this? Sure. First of all, you start with three pounds golden retriever, well marinated, and then you take this. Uh, golden retriever? Oh, oh, I forgot. You are Americans with your love affair of dogs. But you look like you saw a ghost. I'm just kidding. There is nothing but plain old beef. What? You're not going to eat it now? Uh, it's just, it's a bit hard to get that image out of my mind. I, golden retriever, a dog, an animal on my plate. Uh, it's disgusting. That's just, it's not normal. Like most Americans, I was taught to love dogs and eat beef without ever questioning why. I never realized how bizarre it was that I spent more time thinking about which brand of toothpaste to buy than about which animals I ate and why, when my choices helped drive an industry that kills 10 billion animals per year and required me to disconnect psychologically and emotionally from the truth of my experience.